What? What is happening? Why is he making noise? I tried going into free cam to like do something. Just to fly above. Because I was going to play Summoner's War and I wasn't going to start this video. I was just going to record some ambient for my uh, ASMR U uh, YouTube channel. Um, so I died when I fell back to the ground because I flew up in the air. And now he's just making noise when he collides with everything. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, anyway. Hi everybody, welcome back. Ooh. What's going on? You're looking for anything to sell for a fair price. I run the pod frog over my demarks. Really well, it's a shoe fit. Ooh, Maurice. You bitch. I never know. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. Oh, I do, do I? Why is he just he's just making so much noise? Will this fix it? I wanna play Summoner's War to get it out of the way. Okay, it fixed it. Thank you. I do not remember this being the name of the mission. Speaking with silence? Meet Mercer Freya outside of the Sanctum. That's all the way up there, isn't it? Should we ride? Maybe I get the coach to wind home. Hello. Need a ride? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, wind helm, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Thank you. You ever met one of them cats? No. It's crazy how much DNA Skyrim has with just Elder Scrolls in general. It, it's so strange how much it feels like Oblivion, and then how it can feel like a completely different game. It's really weird. Is it just me? Like, I get really strong Oblivion vibes at times, and then sometimes I just- it feels like a completely different- it doesn't even feel like Elder Scrolls. Just this dark gothic fantasy adventure. It's such a unique, distinct flavor of Elder Scroll. Anyway. Let's go! Man, imagine jumping into water this cold. You'd have to be a right fin to do that. Look at the fog in the air. It's warping the atmosphere, that looks sick. It's a cool shader. I don't know why it's doing that, I did do that before. Could have got the horse, but it's pretty close. I have a feeling we can get to it quite quickly. You doing okay? I am. I uh, don't know if I mentioned this already. I don't know when I last recorded an episode. I have a couple of uh, hospital trips coming up. I f I've got five in total this month. Uh, whispering ladies and bandits. Are they coming back to me anyway? Five in total. Uh, why can't I get any of my weapons out? It's all bugged. It won't let me click or anything. What's going on? Are we back? No. It's still bugged. One second. Yeah, five hospital trips this month. I've had one already. I had to um, eat this radioactive trace of fluid and then lay down for an hour while they looked at my stomach and I got to see my stomach too, it was really strange. It was really small, looked like kind of like a fetus at first and then it just expanded after like half an hour, which is kind of cool. Um, it's still not letting me click at all and why does it keep flashing between day and night time? Oh my god, it's Starfield, it's Jemison. Good. It's working. It's weird a oh, do you like my new desktop background, by the way? It's from Hunter Call of the Wild. Revontole Coast. It's really cool. I like it. I've been enjoying that game a lot lately. It's a nice hunting game. I'm not really majorly big in hunting. Um, Who sees me? Stop looking at me. Are you a bandit storm cloak or like lost from your tribe? Or are you... Oh, this is just a storm cloak camp. Move along. Oh, yes, ma'am. Just kidding, oh. fat. Nope. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. uh. That's what you get. <laughs> I've been really enjoying it. Um, it's a fun game. This isn't an archery playthrough, damn it. At least it works now. Fuck you. 
shouldn't even be doing this. Ooh. That's just to scare you. How did you die? I cannot kill their leader, but I can stare at him. Oh, he's not here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Is it really stealing? What's that? It is. Absolutely. Well, fuck you. Are you guys okay? Let me try and help. I hope you guys feel better. I'm trying, Dylan. Prick. You know what, just for that? My name's not Dylan. <laughs> Eat your mother's asshole. <laughs> well, that was that. I thought it was um a wisp mother guarding her wisps to like people in front of an entrance of a cave. It was not, in fact, a wish mother. It was just a Stormcloak bandit camp. Stormcloak encampment. What? I guess they killed this guy too. No, it was you! Yeah, fuck you, tree bitch. Eat shit. <laughs> Have I not eaten taproot yet? No, I have. Yeah, so, sorry. Five hospital appointments. So the first one I had to ingest a thingy mabob and watch it move around inside me. My stomach started off really small and then got bigger. And then at the end of it, I couldn't even tell what was my stomach. It was really weird. Just creepy. Like some, some body horror shit. Um, so that was uncomfortable. Uh, I have two ultrasounds coming up next week. And, uh, at the end of next week. Or maybe the week after. What's today today? Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday today. Well, at the end of the month, I have a pre-op and then a colonoscopy and gastroscopy. I already had a gastroscopy. I was a throat endoscopy, because it went into my, my, my esophagus, my throat. My throat, my esophagus, my, um, stomach and my duodenum. Um... And I think the entrance to the large bowel? Large intestine? I don't remember. Um, and this one now is a colonoscopy. So I'm having another one of those. And a colonoscopy. Um, which I suggested. Because it really is one of the only things I could think of that, that could help. In finding what my symptoms are. Excuse me. I see those two trolls. I don't want to deal with them. Have I cleared this cave? No, I haven't. I don't want to deal with the trolls. Um. I see it. <sighs> but along with the body horror thing, last year when I had the the gastroscopy, it was the most. It w it wasn't. It was painful. And incredibly uncomfortable. This fucking meters long, thick metal cylinder being shoved down your throat. You can barely breathe. You cough. You're like coughing and spluttering, and you're crying. And you fucking they they go through your stomach. They push gas. They push gas into you to blow you up, and then it all, you just let out this fucking disgusting giant burp. And you're like, what are you doing? What? Are you, <laughs> you can't talk. You just left laying on your side, and someone was- it was nice, there was- because someone has to like hold you down. Um, not that you're like majorly like fluttering about, but, uh, they were holding me down and uh, <laughs> one of them was stroking my hair, just playing with my- my bald head. That was nice. Um, as, as if you're like comforting like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't think anybody's gonna be playing with my hair while there's something jammed up my ass, but we'll see. But along with the body horror thing, it was so uncomfortable feeling the tube not just like stuck in my throat for that 10 minutes or however long. It felt like 10 minutes, it was probably like 3, 4 minutes. Um, but I could feel them, like, I could feel the tube pushing around my fucking stomach and prodding up my insides. It felt like an alien was about to jump out of me. Like I was about to give birth to a faceover or something. It was so fucking uncomfortable. And, and painful. And I'm kind of scared that I have to do that again. And I, I'm really worried about how painful it's going to be on the other end. Especially because I have to... At the pre-op I have to... um, Apparently have to uh, take like laxatives the entire week before. So they can clean you out properly. What is this? I need to rebirth. Um, take a picture of that. Oh. I know the scroll wheel works. That whole mouse just didn't work last time. Huh. So I'm kind of worried how painful it's going to be. I, I just know that it's going to be a couple. It's, it's going to be a week of pain for a couple of answers, which will hopefully that's worth it to me. So I hope I get some answers from it, because I didn't last time. Good, we're finally here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is hold that thought. Still inside. You sure? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. You want me to lead? I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Then why don't you go forward, you fucking dipshit? How did Gallus die, anyway? 25 years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. So she took them both of you alone. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening at the <laughs> opening. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. What happened after Gallus died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered. It's all a lie. The were either killed or they left Skyrim. I don't buy it. What of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septums and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Like, it's so elaborate for a fucking lie. Like, you, you imagine why he's even telling me this in the first place. Like, why he'd even bother? He could just be short and snappy like he always is. Tell me about Carlyle. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So they had a relationship? If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little. <laughs> oh, that's so uncomfortable. Smitten by her. Hey, kitten. Why did she kill him? Greed, jealousy, spite. 
who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. Isn't Murder Dark Brother territory? I have a long standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. <clears throat> if we I need. I agree it's best to keep these matters in house. Okay. Bitch. I can't press escape. What? I have no, a it won't. Wait. We both agree What's happening? It's best to keep these matters. Now my I keyboard's not working. What the hell? What is going on with this game? The door is stuck. Door stuck. All right, dipshit, get in. Stop talking. Oh my god. Hurry up. We have things to do. Oh! And you get dipshit. <laughs> Don't show me your rump. Come on. It's locked. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Get out of here. Watch out, watch out. Aw. This one's trying to take up all of our space. Eat shit. It's quite Especially simple, really, if you're really good at this stuff. You. All it takes is learning years of this shit. <laughs> it's not quite simple, then, is it? Mercer? Matt Mercer? Holy shit. It's him, it's real. Oh god, Matt Mercer voices in Starfield, I, I believe. If Brian David Gilbert voices in Starfield, then Matt Mercer does. He's gonna be a character in Elder Scrolls 6, that'd be kind of fun. I am always on my guard. I never triggered a trap once in my life. See? Always double check. What are you looking at? What? What is it? Your mom. It's a faggot. <laughs> Ebony. Ooh. Oh my god! The fight was an execution. That sounds familiar. Oh, Iron Lung. I just played Iron Lung, uh, like two weeks ago, for the first time. I went in completely blind. Uh, CJ bought it for me. Thank you, CJ. Put your swords down, faggot. What are you gonna do? Katana me to death? He's practicing his anime. I'm stuck. Oops. Soft. Soft locked. Hmm. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. It's like Carlia reset all of the traps. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved that. <laughs> it's not worth looting the paltry amount of money they have on them. But this guy is different. <clears throat> Don't push me. Call yourself a master thief, look at you. But you were expecting that, weren't I should let him take care of it, yeah. <laughs> I 
It's pretty baller, shouting you a pathetic and an ancient lord. Go on, Mercer, you got this. Hey, don't bring it to me, dumb shit. Please get killed. That's charming. Suck at this. Oh fuck, that's him. Oh, I need bone meal, actually. I need a bunch of it. I should be looting these guys. Time to end this little game. Feeble. Oh, oh you're stuck. Where that one? Yeah. I've killed legions like <laughs> At Mercer, it's not worth it. Come on. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Boo! Good shot! Don't steal my kill. Thanks. I can too. Fucking bullshit game. This mod makes combat worse. Enough space for this. Every bone mill. Who the fuck did that? Oh, I thought there was a wall in the way. Do you mind? Is there a skeever? The fuck? Where'd you come from? A fucking dumb bitch. Behind you, CJ. Yeah, I'm jumping over to this motherfucker. God damn it. Oh, we found a white. I agree with that one. You can spit on this guy. Yeah, fuck, long shot. I die, everyone die. Sorry, Mercer. There's someone behind you. Model ship? What the fuck? Why is there a model ship in here? What? 
Was that supposed to be there? Did, it, did I like shout it away? Was it on one of these pedestals? I don't even remember seeing that in the main game. Oh, I'm gonna look that up. Oh. Oh, excuse me. So you are supposed to get it from this quest. The easiest way to get it, at least. I mean, you pick it up, uh, the hanging guns that have already lit up the oil in the room for. So. Is it just normally on the pedestal? Could move the model, making it difficult to find. Well, I found it. Oh, so it was supposed to be on there. Okay. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, well, we found it. I like that. Is this where we came from? No. She's crying. She's so sad. I just realized, like, you see the bras on these, uh, on the female Jogo, but you don't really see them on human- I mean, you, you do see them. Buddy, you're in the wrong room. Wait, did I just come out the- way? No, because we- this is a different place. Yeah, yeah. You okay? You're quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. That's an unnecessary chat. We need to keep going. Says the one who's detected. Most afraid. I, I fucking hate him. I'm glad he dies. He genuinely pisses me off so much. Hey, I'm sitting here going to up sleep. I'll shit on your corpse. In one corner, we've got Mercer Frey, fucking stupid Nord. Oh shit, fuck. In the other corner, they've got me. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> Stay down, motherfucker. <laughs> Mercer, just come on, give it one more try. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> cool, Mercer. <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> If you could kill Mercer, that'd be lovely. The Fire Nation are trying to attack. Oh my Jesus Christ. Is there any scroll I can use to be, like, fun? A healing circle could be fun. Nearby targets take extra damage. Shock damage to help the magicka. I can summon something to help. I kinda wanna try the, uh... Storm Blast? What's something I touch? Oh, damage to the undead. Draw count is undead, right? Yeah. A quick save. Wait, that wasn't a scroll. I mean, no, it used it, right? I thought these were like AoE spells. These aren't spells. Oh, I'm glad I quick saved, but I'm gonna be attacked at the moment. This is. Yeah, see? 
These aren't scrolls, bruv. It's, it's not a scroll. Well, maybe that is a scroll. I just forgot what they look like. Yeah, my way. Oh, this is bullshit. This is actual bullshit. Look at the fucking space they've given me to fight in here. I have no room. Difficult, he's not even that high. Look at this. I was an expert. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep it though. But man, that's fucked. I'm summoning something. Did the Dramora die? Maybe. Whoa. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't have enough fucking... Are you, are you actually serious, bruv? Jesus Christ, that was so hard. What the fuck? That was a challenge. God damn. I don't even know how half of them died. Holy shit. That was crazy. Whoa. I think I'm using an ebony metal axe right now. I don't remember. Ebony warmer. I was looking for one of these. I just want to check what I'm using right now because I don't remember. And if I have one or not. I still have one. Six steel daggers. That's useless. Okay, so I think I was going to try and dismantle that, but I think I can't. I have the dagger at home already. God, where is all my space being taken up by? What? Do I just have a bunch of shit in here that I forgot about? That's kind of useless. That's kind of useless. I can sell them, but not for much. I could enchant them, but uh, I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm carrying like way more than I than it thinks I am. I don't know what I have that could be this much. Maybe I should have dropped this one off at home since I wasn't using it. Maybe I should just drop it. I don't want to drop it, though. Well, we have to drop something. I want ebony! I want ebony warhammer! I suppose this is an ebony battle axe, yeah. So I can drop this one. I want the warhammer. So... I'll keep it. That was a challenge. That was like one of the hardest fucking things I've done in this game. In a long time. One of the other only recent examples I can think of is when I was doing the Dawn Guard questline before one of the last characters we did. Ebony bow, my guy. Come on. I gotta take it. I gotta take it. They look so good.
Um. Oh. I always, I always fucking miss them. You're not coming through. Ah. We're on the right track. Should have been through here as well. <laughs> Okay, come on. You didn't do anything. Dumb shit. Fuck you, Mercer Frey. Right. Go on. I see them. Arriba, arriba. Hit him. Oh my god. Come on. I just want Mercer to get attacked. Mercer. Get out of my fucking way, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Mercer. <laughs> did it. We cleared it. Did you say something? Nope. <laughs> My book. Mine armor. <laughs> if you're stupid. Hey, you said we cleared it. You've lied to me. What we get? Fortunately, these <coughs> doors have a weakness. How to exploit it? Quite simple. Really. He is clever, but he's just annoying oh, as fuck. Close, I don't like him. Now let's get moving. Fuck you. Must you keep stopping? My brother in Christ, I fucking hope you die. Sorry, YouTube, is that how speed? I hope this video game character ceases to exist. Must you keep stopping? See, he wants me to keep going. I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait, what happens if you do this? <laughs> Give me a reason to try. 
You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. She's killing herself. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Mercer, I'm, I'm dead, Mercer. Help me up, Mercer. How interesting. Mercer. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Oh. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Grignold your regard. If you cut my throat, I'm gay. I mean, you're gay. Don't do it, Mercer. You'll be gay forever. There's no one doing it. He considered it. He thought about it. You might have to start over again. New character. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's just it's built in softbox that no one can ever complete the quest. What's gonna happen now that I've insult assaulted him? Oh, where am I? What? Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. Sexy Don't dark elf. Hold on, you <laughs> You shot me. No. I saved your life. Whoa. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way and it prevented your death. Well, that sounded strange. Then I'm in your debt. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. Then why were you just gonna... All I had hoped oh. was to capture Mercer alive. Why alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Well, maybe we could translate it? Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. You didn't think about this at all? The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again, Nightingale. What is that? There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Where? Well, tell me about Gallus. He was a scholar, <coughs> a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. You were lovers? Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. 
can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Why not have a choice next time? I can promise you if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Can you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus' remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Okay, well, thank you. And thank you again for, you know, saving my life. I'll see you later. Remember, speak only to Antha. Trust no one else. Can we not talk anymore? Please. There isn't much time. What is it? No, it can wait. Speak only to Antha. There's that stupid lantern. Hey, yeah. What's your name? My name is Faggot. No! <laughs> well, um... Up to the college we go. I can see it from here. I suppose we'll just walk and discover whatever these are. Oh my god! Kala, 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 Kala! Kala, help! Hello, hello. Oh. Help me. Proud of you. <laughs> she sees me just holding this massive fuck off axe. I'm not doing anything to help. <laughs> Ooh, free ice wraith teeth. I love infighting. It's been really refreshing to play without the HUD, but kind of annoying, because I keep missing things. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't know. Who would do such a thing? I think you need to find a new home. Why? No. Okay, go. Wait. Wait. God damn it. Stupid motherfucker. Okay, three, two, one. There you go. Journeyman's Nook. I'm going back off. No. I'm coming in. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Thanks. Nice lashes. How's this for a flea bite, bitch? What fleas are biting you, girl? <gasps> no, it's Borvir. Oh shit. From the quest. I'm sorry, Bovu. I'll find you a dagger for you, I promise. Probably. <laughs> I think. Maybe. Throw fucking bread at his face. There you go. I wonder what these are. College boots! What's this? Oh, look at that. Mm. Are you a messenger? Hmm? Hmm? I find your wolfish green. Hmm? Hmm? Whistling mine. That's a cool ship. Whoa, what was that? 
Who is that? What the fuck? Erinda? Ardwin? What was that? I mean, you saw that too, right? I was a wisp mother. No. I don't know what that was. Never mind, that's scary. I wonder if the thieves girls are gonna be annoyed at me. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder why he's not in the college. I don't think I ever remember seeing him in here. I figured they can leave. Why are you so big? What the fuck? Asher had to move away because of the Empire. Asher? Before we get to stay. The mages don't let us go in the college. Asher says his paw says the college makes lots of bad things happen. But the mages have seen it nice. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some. Have I helped you? Yeah, I've helped everybody here. My friend, a toast to a beautiful friend. Nella Car is in here. Yeah? Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me pride, sir, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up. No, I looked for you. I couldn't see you. I end up. Can I help you with anything else? Yeah. Um, I just got sent by Carlia. Carlia. Yeah. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus' journal? Yes, but we have a little bit of a problem. Problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Oh, wow. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth. Alselmo may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Hmm. What exactly is a former? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Hmm. So they were like your kind? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. What drove them underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. White people. They sound more like victims to me. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. It should be on my table. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about Gallus? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly <coughs> astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. 
I just never thought his luck would run out. So he was an academic yet he chose a different path. Why? For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. How did you meet him? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. <laughs> I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? <laughs> so why did he write his journal in Fulmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. And where did he acquire the knowledge of it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Okay, thank you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Wonder what it's like for those Thalmor, now that they've been taken down a notch. Is hmm. it true what they say? There was a dragon... Why, why did you give me? All right, what? Then. Ask, okay. The mages don't let us go in the I'm gonna kill you. They said it's not safe in there. Hey. Good to see you. You too. Bye. See ya. Hi. Turns out who runs Venterhold doesn't change much. Can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, what do we got for sale? Take a look. Oh my god, he's loaded, fam. I have holy water? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, not much I can give you. All right. Hey, Nelikon. My days what have you got? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? No, I just wish to get money. And lots of it. Oh, should I have kept that? Hmm. Probably. I don't remember what that was. But that well. I'm not even wearing my necklace. I'm wearing a randomly different ring. What the fuck? Stupid. Oh, I do have San Quentin's face. God damn it, I couldn't see it. Why can't I sell anybody anything? Alright then. Eat shit, kid. <laughs> well, looks like we're off to Markarth when the phase of the universe aligns. What the fuck? Holy shit, that noise. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, I think I'll head to White Run so I can sell some stuff. Sounds like a good idea to me. And then we'll end off the episode. I mean, I suppose I'll do that now, actually. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to Riften. And we're going to break into Calcello's laboratory. Bye.